Peace, everybody. Just got the new green alien strap to go with the IYB green ILS 300 Les Paul. And it's not only I thought that looks cool, but this is what they sent me with orange wood. And I'll tell you, it's like a cargo strap. It, it's, I don't know if you can, yeah, there you go. You can kind of see the grains. It, it's like so rough. Oh my God. And this is total opposite. It's like silky soft. So when you're wearing it, it's comfortable, right? Gonna be holding, wearing a guitar, you gotta have it kind of comfortable. Um, straps, personal opinion, you know, I mean, there's thousands of straps out of there. I've tried a few of them. I've tried them, big wide ones, you know, figured they'd be comfortable. Well, it wasn't comfortable for me. Uh, I've just generally found that the thin straps are great. A lot of people, one of my friends, he has like 15 guitars and he has strap locks on every single guitar. I may have dropped, lost a guitar off the strap from being, you know, you put it on and it pops off. But it's again, that's a personal preference. When I put this on, I'm, I'm pretty damn sure that it's not going to come off. Um, I've even done, you know, crazy stuff jumping off of small walls, and you know, I'm jumping around. Strap has never come off. You know. um, but today, what I want to talk about is guitar picks. And Guitar picks is per per personal preference, absolutely. And you can see we got a variety of guitar picks. And I was playing, and I got all this new stuff, and I haven't, I didn't have my right extra heavy pick, so I was using these Ernie Ball picks. And <laughs> I was using these Ernie Ball picks. And they were okay, but I noticed they were, they started slipping. When I'm, when I'm doing these chords, they were slipping out of my fingers. So I went to the yellow one, which is extra heavy, 1.51. And I'm playing it and I'm hearing this scratching sound like, now what? Now, now what is going on? You know? <laughs> uh, why, why am I getting this scratch? And I look down there, and well, they got the words. Where is the camera on this thing? They got the words all the way down there at the bottom. The writing. And you can see the difference between the two. So... I'm like, am I really using that much of the pick all the time? Yes. <laughs> yep. I'm picking. It was scratching. Like, oh, my God. You know, it's the right thickness. They got this stupid lettering on there all the way to the bottom. You know, my God, who's designing these things? Do they ever play these things? Do they like the sound of the pick scratching? Or do they just use that little teeny tiny thing at the top? So. I was, uh, I've been tried and true with Fender Extra Heavy forever. One of the reasons being, I like Extra Heavy picks. Again, this is a personal preference. But I found that when I used thin or extra thin picks, they just folded. They couldn't, I'm not sure of the technical term, when you have something straight and it folds out of the way, bends, and comes back. Um, deflection. I think it's deflection. It would be deflection on a saw blade. How much variance it wobbles from center. Deflects. So I found that when I would try to pick fast or, you know, really hit an acoustic guitar, the, the thin picks just, <laughs> there was nothing there. It's like hitting it with paper. And then I read an article about Steve Howe, my favorite guitar player, 
and he uses extra heavy picks. Well, he's a great guitar player. There's got to be a reason why. Let's follow suit with the great guys. Um, I learned a lot of things from Steve Howe. One thing that works for me that I learned with Steve Howe is holding the guitar at the certain position, like, you know, you're sitting there. Some guitarists can play the guitar, like Jimmy Page. He must have these long arms, and he can play it way down here. And I just can't. I have to have my arms. I got short arms. So. <laughs> I got short here, short here, short here. My arm will not go down to hold the guitar in sort of say the cool rock and roll position. So no matter what I want to do to play guitar, I can't hold the guitar sort of say cool, cool. Because I can't play it in, in a way it looks cool, you know, way down here. Like, these guys do so I chose and prefer to play the guitar or put the guitar in a position that I can play it at no matter how it looks you know it's gonna look stupider if I get the guitar down here and I can't play it <laughs> that would just totally be stupid and stupid equals stupider so maybe it's not the coolest thing to hold the guitar up here sometimes I've even had it way up here but now I find that that's just a little too close. I can feel comfortable with it a little lower. For the pick, the same thing. When I found Steve Howe was using extra heavy picks, okay. I wish I had known that he put a 12 on the E string. Instead of using a normal E, he'd take a, the B and put the B on the E, which is a thicker, heavier string. Uh, just real quick, the reason why Steve Howe uses heavier gauge strings is like, think of a bell. If you've got a huge bell, like, bong, get smaller, ding, ding, you get to a bell that's just so small, it's not even going to have any ring or ding at all. It's going to be totally dead. That's what happens with guitar strings. When you have thick strings, and you get down to the high E, if you're down to a 7 or an 8, extra 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 slinky they're so small there's nothing there to make a tone so that's why steve uses heavier strings this is a good solid tone and the string is not going to deflect when you're he's really picking so he is super fast and one of the reasons he can play fast is because the strings can hold the speed i guarantee if you gave steve howe a guitar with extra slinky strings on the top and he went to play the fastest thing the string would fall apart it wouldn't be able to come back so picks let's go back to the subject at hand picks it's personal preference the triangle pick you know personal preference try it if you're a beginner guitar player try all these picks you might not want to use an extra heavy pick maybe you're not going to i use extra heavy because i play a lot of acoustic and with acoustic you need a little bit more bite i can just keep it on the electric no problem but maybe if you're a beginner guitar player try all the picks try extra thin try thin try medium heavy buy all of them right up to extra heavy give it a shot see what you like see if there's you know you're going to be the one playing it there's no right or wrong. It's personal preference. That's what I said. I like extra heavy just because I like to be able to have a guitar that's not going to, yeah, I'm not going to have a pick that's not going to deflect when I play it. And if I need to go from something soft to something loud, the pick is going to handle it. The triangle picks, three sides. So if you're playing, and you will find you will wear picks out if you're playing the guitar. Like a carpenter, if you don't break a tape measure, well, you, you're not doing something right. Same with a pick. These picks will last a long time. I've had my favorite pick forever, uh, but it wore out. I actually lost it. So if you get a triangle pick, now it's gonna last three times longer. And it's, it's not really uncomfortable, but it's way different than a normal pick. And of course you have 
different colors that you saw in the wheel there. Um, I got some heavy picks, 12 picks, $7 from the only guitar center, or from the guitar center, yeah, the only guitar center. 12 picks, $6.99, I, I was almost floored. It's like, my God, man, it's, so I found this assortment of extra heavy, which that's what I like to use. And they got all the different colors and they found these on Amazon and well, I don't know how much they were. They weren't $6, I'll tell you that much. But I could barely take two seconds and see what my orders say they were. Although, what the hell did I just click there? Uh, I should just hit buy it again. $5.99, so I saved a dollar. <laughs> Big deal, a dollar. So picks are more expensive than I think nowadays. That's, I guess, what I'm trying to say. So there you have it. Try all the picks that are out there. Um, I did have an assortment of picks here, but there's also some Dunlap picks. Dunlap? Dunlap? They have corrugations on it, so you can really hold it. Because as I was saying, the reason I noticed it is when I was playing the pickets, which on that last video with the uh, Orangewood versus the IYV for Brilliance, the, I, I was losing it. I was like, is this is, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to create a, great video or a good video you know for everybody to watch and I'm, you know I'm strumming away I'm making mistakes and uh, you know what's wrong and I noticed that the pick the lettering had almost wore off of it so when that happened there, there was no grip and you start you start getting a little bit sweaty if you don't sweat when you're playing then you're doing something wrong you should definitely if you're really jamming out your hand should start getting you know moist so that's when I said let me try the new ernie balls I bought and they started scratching the strings I was like oh my god this is terrible so I finally got my fender extra heavy picks that I love and it, I've always used white I just like the white uh, and it's funny because they, the difference in shapes they have is minute but they do have different shapes with just a little variance and I like this particular shape and when I saw the green that matches the IYB I was like come on come on this is like you know I got I gotta have that it's just <laughs> you know it's too cool oh I lost the strap though we gotta get the strap back in there so yeah I, I just like, yeah, all the girls, they match their shoes to their skirt to their lipstick. Well, I match the green to my strap to my guitar pick. And now I got to find a shirt. <laughs> Guarantee I won't do any green lipstick. So at least not till St. Patrick's Day. So that's it with picks. Picks can be very, very important if you don't have the right pick, if you don't have the right strap, if you're not comfortable playing the guitar. There's a difference between playing in the easy chair, laying back on the couch and strolling around, just, you know, checking out some new licks they got. But when you're, you know, all of a sudden, hey, somebody says, play me a song, or you're, you know, in the pub and you're playing in front of an audience, you got to have the guitar. Everything's got to be just right. And once I have everything set, then I can try to play a good song. <laughs> so, peace out. Hope you enjoyed this video. Keep on picking.